So before you guys go absolutely crazy jumping into Coinbase or moving money from Coinbase to KuCoin, if you, uh, KuCoin, if you watched my video about crypto lending, you're going to want to get your money into Coinbase and start moving it places to make sure that you're getting crypto lending, make sure you're getting into altcoins at an early date using things like PancakeSwap. This video is to give you a big warning to not make the mistake I made in the early days of crypto where I lost a couple hundred dollars and back then it was a couple hundred dollars in just Ethereum back when Ethereum was below 400 and when it was below 400 what is that worth today so but instead of making a $200 uh, mistake that could have ballooned into a $2,000 mistake I want to help you guys make sure you don't make a mistake where you actually lose cash moving it from one to the other you see if you're actually getting started following my videos about doing some crypto lending or getting involved maybe for the first time for real in crypto, you're gonna start with something like Coinbase, I hope, move money in there from your bank quickly, but then you're gonna wanna move it to other places like KuCoin or, uh, or Yoroi or MetaMask or, or PancakeSwap so that you can start getting involved in the altcoins early on that I talk about or that other people in your feeds talk about. But before you do any of that, you need a basic concept and you need to um, interpret a term that everyone's using. And if you don't do this, you could lose some money. It's called a wallet. Now, several questions have come up in the Discord. If you know what a wallet is, don't worry about watching this video. But if you're new and you want to make sure you don't make some very basic mistakes, like moving money into the wrong wallet and losing that money forever, unretrievable, then watch the rest of this video where it's going to be quick. We're just going to cover a few quick concepts so that you can define your terms. So consider this a vocab lesson, a cryptocurrency vocab lesson on what is a wallet. Let's start. The first thing you need to know that a wallet generally refers to an address where your cryptocurrency exists. Let's start where everyone starts, and that's on Coinbase. Let's take a look over here at Coinbase and actually see what's going on. So here's one of my Coinbase accounts, and you see all of these. Some people have been asking, what is Coinbase wallet? I'll show you that in just a quick second right here. But this is Coinbase, and these, each of these are considered a wallet. Let's look at one that everyone is getting familiar with, Ethereum. Notice that Ethereum calls this a wallet. Now, a wallet is a cryptocurrency-specific address. Let me show you what that means. Over here, this is a tool called Etherscan, and Etherscan allows you to browse any cryptocurrency address. Now, in general, these addresses are where money comes and goes. You can see these transactions have come and gone. When you actually have this address, this is actually or could be considered a wallet. The big thing I want you to know is that if you have money in Coinbase, you used Coinbase, you received money probably from your bank account, you can see you've got a unique address here. Ethereum addresses start with 0x and then end with a, uh, a number. And that's how you kind of see, uh, is this the right address? Well, it started with 0x and ended with e 4 df and you want to make sure that you're keeping track of what these addresses are so this is your ethereum wallet so coinbase isn't the wallet per se ethereum is the is the wallet and then you've got a bitcoin wallet and and how do we know if you go into bitcoin it will say wallet and then if you want to move money say for example we want to move ethereum from our Coinbase account to our KuCoin account to do some crypto lending. We make sure that we're here, we're gonna send money, right? We're not buying and selling, we're sending and receiving. We're gonna send some money, where are we gonna send it to? So if we go to uh, KuCoin, and I've actually got under assets, here we go. I go under my assets, and then I go under to my Ethereum. I'm actually going to deposit money into this Ethereum wallet or this Ethereum address. I check my disclosures, I click continue, and you can see OX, and then it ends in B8, BA82. So you want to make sure you copy this exactly. And here's the warning to, that will save you money. This is worth your Patreon membership alone. If you copy this right here, then you drop this in here. You want to triple check it. 0X, 0X, BA82, BA82. Okay, I am comfortable proceeding. So it's basically saying, I'm going to deposit money into this account. So we go back over here and we say, well, how much? I'm going to deposit 25 here, gobbledygook, leave a message that matters, and then go ahead and proceed because you are secure that you're moving from one Ethereum wallet to another Ethereum wallet. The reason I am calling this out is someone asked, well, hey, 
how do I know really what a wallet is or where is my wallet? And then they brought up another term, which I'm going to show you real quick with Coinbase wallet that gets confusing pretty quickly. Um, but I wanted to call this out because this is the right way to think about a wallet, Ethereum to Ethereum. The main reason is, is you don't want to lose money because if you're thinking, if you're a total noob, if you're a total noob and you're sitting here thinking, hey, Grant, Grant, I want to move money. I want to swap Ethereum for Ripple. Well, Ethereum and Ripple have different addresses. And if you send Ethereum from an Ethereum wallet to Ripple in a Ripple wallet and you're getting these terms like wallet confused, that Ethereum is going to burn. It's going to disappear. No one can get it back for you. You can try to call Coinbase. That's the point of blockchain is that it's not centralized. There's no one stewarding it. So if you send it to the wrong wallet, you'll actually lose it. So this term wallet can get confused pretty quickly. So right now, Ethereum to Ethereum, Ripple to Ripple. So I want to give you an example of how this works so that you can see the difference between an Ethereum wallet, say, for example, and a Tezos wallet. So I showed you an example. If I wanted to move Ethereum from Coinbase to KuCoin, I had to make sure I had the right wallet address, right? So and the same thing goes in, in other cryptos like Tezos. And I want to give you this example so you can kind of see the difference. Let's go here. You want to make sure you have the right address. So you can see right here, my wallet address for Tezos is TZ and then has a bunch of endings. And so then when I'm over here sending from my Coinbase, I want to make sure I copy this exactly and paste it in here. And that TZ and then checking out the ending will help me realize or know, okay, I'm moving this wallet to wallet. But what's the difference between Coinbase and Coinbase wallet? So let's look real quick. I've got Coinbase wallet up over here. And this is the FAQ for the product called Coinbase wallet. And under Coinbase wallet, it specifies, uh, why should I use Coinbase wallet? You can buy and store specifically. ERC-20 tokens. It doesn't take other tokens. It only takes ERC-20 tokens. If you had, for example, Tezos or Ripple, and you thought, which are not ERC-20 tokens, fancy language you don't have to know to understand wallets. But if you tried to send them somewhere to your Coinbase wallet, it would disappear entirely. Let's actually look at Coinbase wallet real quick. If it'll come up. Let's say I have Tezos, and I want to move Tezos, and I want to put it in my wallet. You would not put it in the Coinbase wallet. There's nowhere to put it. You don't have a TZ address like we showed you in KuCoin. You could move it over here because you have a TZ address. So you want to make sure, you want to always double check and there's always warnings right here. Tip, the address is not allowed to deposit any other assets than XTZ, Tezos. And any other asset deposit will not be recovered. You want to make sure that you're going Coin-specific wallet to coin-specific wallet. Another thing like that is MetaMask. We use MetaMask quite a bit. It's one of the most popular uh, apps. I was going to say wallet. It's the most popular crypto app where you can manage multiple uh, assets. And I want to show you that real quick. So right now, this is my MetaMask. I'm signed in with a Google uh, Chrome extension. You can see I have multiple accounts here. And you can see, check this out. You can see that this is Ethereum. Not only does it say Ethereum, not only do I have the Ethereum icon, not only am I on the Ethereum mainnet, right? I also can see that my Ethereum address starts with 0x. And if I were on Coinbase and I wanted to send money here, I would only send Ethereum. So think of this as like traveling abroad and all you have is US dollars. All you have is Ethereum. And you want to get a Chinese yuan, right? You need to first move that Ethereum into a place like MetaMask where you could actually convert it, you could swap it right here for the Chinese yuan or you know Bitcoin or whatever it is. So to swap that, you need to make sure it ends up in the right account. So I've got this account called 0x and it ends in DE36. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come over here and say, okay, I'm going to send some of my Ethereum over here. I don't even know how much I have. I'm going to send some of that right here. 0x DE36. And if I sent this money, it would end up in this wallet. It would take a few minutes, but it would show up and this amount would go up by 10, 20, $30, whatever that is. Um, so that's kind of an introduction to wallets. Now this wallet, so there's uh, like decentralized multiple apps like um, MetaMask where you can actually have, if you'll look real quick, I actually have Binance account over here. I actually have um, Polygon, which is called Matic. I have some Matic over here. Now you have other wallets. I have this other tool called a YoRoy wallet, and this is specific to, and this is a wallet. 
This is a wallet because it is specific to Cardano. I can move Cardano ADA from Coinbase to my YoRoy wallet. Now, if you'll notice within this YoRoy wallet though, I have different addresses. So right now I've got this address right here, 9D, which is an ADA or Cardano address. So I've actually got this money staked in this wallet and you can see I've got a standard wallet uh, address. So YoRoy, though it's technically an app, I can have multiple addresses in Cardano. People use this term wallet loosely when it comes to MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, and things like YoRoy. Don't get confused on the terms. The big interpretation is this. Move your cryptocurrency from a cryptocurrency-specific wallet address to a cryptocurrency-specific wallet address. Now, don't bother with Coinbase wallet. Your money's going to get stuck. I've actually had this $100 stuck in uh, Coinbase wallet for a while. I try to send it to uh, my MetaMask wallet. So let's actually look at that real quick. So this is just a quick primer. You already pretty much now know what you need to know about the term wallet. But in my Coinbase wallet, come on, I go next. I put in my address. I would go next and watch these gas fees. I'm sending $100, but it's charging me $65. Any chance you can avoid using Ethereum right now because of the cost of the gas fees? This is basically a network fee, a gas fee. It's ridiculous. Coinbase wallet will always do this. But if I actually move money into my uh, MetaMask, the fees are much different, sometimes much less, sometimes much more. You got to watch it closely. But I want you to be careful with wallets. If I could tell you one thing, avoid Coinbase wallet. Use Coinbase Avoid Coinbase wallet entirely. Uh, open up a MetaMask account. Uh, and that's probably the only other wallet app or cryptocurrency app that you really need to use right now. So have Coinbase. If you want to do crypto lending, open up a KuCoin account, open up a Coinbase account, open up a MetaMask account. That's all you're going to need for now. And then remember, only move cryptocurrency to cryptocurrency. Man, listen, I hope this has been helpful. I know that we were kind of all over the place. I know that I showed you a lot of things, but the main takeaway is that I want you to make sure you don't send Ethereum to a Tezos wallet and lose it forever, that you send Ethereum or Bitcoin to a Cardano wallet and lose it forever. I want to make sure that you are getting the word wallet right and wallet address right. And then you understand that sometimes we use this term wallet very loosely in other places. So I hope that's helpful. Make sure you, if you got something out of this, like or subscribe the video, share it with a friend or consider joining the Patreon where we actually show you my detailed, uh, no holds barred, completely transparent portfolio, my buys, my experiments and my fails as it pertains to cryptocurrency, but also wealth building in general, like our real estate, like our businesses and beyond. But hopefully you learned something, share it with a friend, join us on the free discord for more conversations like this.